I wanted to start off the vlog today with our Independence Day, 4th of July, um, USA proud decor, whatever you want to say. But I just put this up about a week ago, but I'll have it probably till the end of July. We just have this predominantly in our living room and kitchen area. And I'm just gonna briefly go through everything right now. But if you'd like to skip forward, I have that marked down below. Yeah, your bark box came in, guys. Yeah. My girls are very excited because their bark box came in. This theme is carnival barkers. And we've got a cute little ice cream cone. She loves these like crink. Do you hear this like little crinkle sound? She loves that. And then we've got a ski ball one, a little ticket coming out. These are like a couple pieces. Like these can come out kind of. This Look at this one. Has a mallet comes in a couple different pieces and then we've got some pumpkin and honey recipe chews jerky bits and lamb recipe they haven't had these before want to try a new one want to try a new one girls Let's see so these smell like straight up fish but the dogs love them those were good okay i'll give you one more but mommy's got to close this it's smelly they're really tiny like little training treats almost sit babies good girl Good girl, Lucy. I saw you said too. Good girl. So Haley and I are here in downtown Chandler. We're going to go to this cute spot, Black Sheep Wine Bar and Merchant, for some happy hour. I'll show you guys inside. It looks really cute from the outside, and this place has changed so much over here. So many cute restaurants. Mm -hmm.
So I thought I would do a little Trader Joe's haul with you guys. It's very small. I specifically went for Father's Day, like a little extra thing for my um, dad because he loves to barbecue and try new sauces and spices. And I heard about this really good one, sriracha and roasted garlic barbecue sauce. Have you guys tried this? I think he's gonna be really excited about that. I also got him this Carolina Gold barbecue sauce for barbecue that's good as gold. Of course, you know what I'm thinking of. Good as gold from Sheena. If you guys watch um, Vanderpump Rules, then you know. And then I also saw these and couldn't resist getting them for him as well. He loves olives and garlic anything. So these are garlic clove stuffed olives. My goodness. Sorry, mom, ahead of time because he's going to have some breath. <laughs> but I know he'll like them. Then I just repurchased our Bomba Puff Peanut and Corn Snacks. These are so good. Ugh, we'll go through that in like a day or two. Um, these are my favorite mango, dried mango slices for a snack, the unsulfured, unsweetened. There's nothing to them. They just dry out the mango. It's so good. Colombian coffee. Chris really liked this last time I got it, so got some more for him. My favorite salad. I've talked about this many a time, the crunchy slaw. And then I got a bunch of our vegetable fried rice that I love to make. This is new for us. I have not tried this before. Country potatoes with um, wild mushrooms. And I have no idea how to say that. Hair experts. I don't know. Looked really good. And then I got some waffle fries to do in the air fryer one day. And some bacon for brunch this week. And I thought this licorice sounded really good. It's like all these different tropical flavors. And for candy, it's not that bad. So we're about to leave for Father's Day, but I wanted to show you guys. I'm going to do a full video on my Abercrombie and Fitch haul, but look how gorgeous this dress is. I love like the little ruffly details in the chest area. It's so pretty. So this is what I'm wearing. I put my hair up because I just didn't feel like doing it. And I've got these really cute bee earrings that my mom got me. So yeah, we are off to go to this Brazilian steakhouse that hopefully all the guys really enjoy because they all are big fans of steak and you know, meat and potatoes. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Monday and it's actually my good friend Aubrey's birthday today. So I'm taking her to lunch. We're gonna go to North Italia, which is one of our favorite restaurants here locally. And yeah, just have some yummy food and catch up with one another. We both recently have gone to weddings and we're so excited to chat about that too and just like catch up with one another. We try to do that at least once a month. And I have been editing like crazy. There are two vlogs that are going up instead of one for the vacation, one for New York and one for Jersey. So lots to watch. Soon. Chris bought me some pretty flowers this week. I don't think I showed you guys. They're like about three days old now. So they're, the roses are starting to bloom a little bit, but they're so cheery. And I'm leaving them in my beauty room because it's the coolest room in the house right now. Otherwise they were wilt so fast in our kitchen area um, with how much sun comes through. So just leaving them in my beauty room just to make me so happy every morning while I'm getting ready. Happy Friday. I just wanted to show you my makeup of the day because I really liked it. Um, I've been using pretty much the same face products um, all week. The lipstick or like lip gloss is the City Lips. It's so pretty. Um, City Lips in San Diego instead of San Diego. My highlight is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy. It's limited edition, I'm sorry. I don't think you can get that anymore, but this is what makes my cheeks look so like pretty, I feel like, is this Benefit Dandelion Twinkle. It's technically a blush, but I put it as a, a blush topper because it just has this like really pretty sheen, like peachy sheen, and it kind of mutes out my blush a little bit when it's too strong, and I just really, really like it. So this is pretty much why I, I came on camera to show you my makeup. <laughs> Hey guys, so I just got some really beautiful pieces in from Abercrombie & Fitch. 
I don't know if you guys have seen this on YouTube yet, but a lot of people's channels can link products on their actual video so that you can shop the links directly from the YouTube video, which is pretty genius. I don't know why YouTube didn't think of this sooner, to be honest. <laughs> really cool. Um, so Abercrombie & Fitch reached out to me to show you guys some pretty spring and summer pieces. Um, in honor of this new collaboration with YouTube. So I'm gonna share some of the pieces. I'll make sure to link them on the video directly, but I'll also leave the links down below. Um, so this dress I actually wore on Father's Day this past weekend, and I absolutely love it because it has pockets, but they do it in the right spot. It's not, not directly on the hip, so it doesn't make the hips go out further than they already are. And I'm like, I'm a little hippie. So I don't like when pockets are too far on the sides. These are more in the front, which I really like because it's still very flattering. And then I just love the blue and white floral pattern. It's so feminine and pretty. I love these little ruffle details, kind of layered, layered fabric on the bust area. It's very comfortable. Uh, I do not have a bra on because it's, it's tight enough where I don't feel the need. And uh, there is a little clip back here that I didn't clip yet because I don't have anyone home to help me <laughs> with the dress. But let me just scooch a little bit further back so you can see the length. I'll put my heels on so you can see a little bit better. These are the heels I wore with them. So there you can get, it's pretty long. I'm almost to my ankle. So this would be even a really cute church dress because it's nice and long but loving it, it's so comfortable. All right, let's try the other one on. Another super cute flattering dress, I love this. And it's like a really nice lightweight fabric. It has these little, a little bit of a balloon sleeve, not that much, and it cinches in right here, and the little ruffles too. I hope you guys can see that. I just love all the little feminine touches. And I love that it cinches in at the waist. Because I'm hippie, if the waist isn't nice and cinched in like this, I feel like it makes me look too wide. So look how girly and fun this is. I love all the layered like ruffled details. And I am such like a blue and green girl this summer. I don't know what it is, but if I buy anything new, it's been in shades of green or blue. <laughs> so I just love that this has really beautiful floral details too. What do you guys think? You're gonna have to let me know which one down below you like the best. I've got one more dress, and then we've got some jeans and a bodysuit, which jeans from Abercrombie used to be my favorite back in high school. So we'll see if they're, they're even better now, because they're supposed to have like curvy fit now. All right, and this last one I think would be so pretty for my birthday. I really love this dress. It's very flowy, very lightweight for summer. I can't explain it, just the fabric really flows so pretty when you walk. Can you guys see this? just like flows, almost like a scarf, it's so pretty. And it does have a slit, so you get a little sexy leg action too. Um, really comfortable, I love this. And it does have adjustable straps, but I really do think this is a contender for my birthday, for sure. Okay, so this is the bodysuit, which probably shouldn't put the jeans, see it like goes all the way down. Really cute. Um, these are adjustable, so you can like have them up higher, down, lower, whatever. Um, really comfortable bodysuit too. And it's like a thong style more. And then these are the ultra high waisted jeans. Um, and I am in a 28, I think it is. I'll leave it below because I never remember those sizes rather than like a regular eight, six, whatever. Um, but yeah, these are really actually nice. They fit me well. They, these ones are the flare. They have like a little bit of a flare going on on the pant. Can you see that? And then let me show you the butt. I think the butt's pretty good too. It's not flattening my butt, which sometimes Abercrombie jeans used to do that. And these ones are definitely not. Let me get a little closer. So you guys can see better. But yeah, I think overall good. Really love it. So thank you so much to Abercrombie and Fitch for sending these pieces my way. And then I will definitely link them for you guys down below. Abercrombie, they are always running some really good deals here and there. Like, um, doesn't matter what time of year, I feel like they always have some kind of sale going on. So keep your eyes peeled for one of those too, because these pieces are definitely worth it. Also, I wanted to share with you guys that my mom went to TJ Maxx this week and found so many cute 
Disney bobble bar things and she got them as an early birthday gift to me, which was so sweet. So look at this one. Mickey and Minnie all blinged out. Hold on, the lighting is horrible. So first is this really cute Mickey and Minnie hair clip duo. Look at that. Aren't they so cute? And then we got two earrings. These ones. And I think I'm most excited about these ones. These are so cool. And then I also wanted to show you, I went to, I've been loving, I know it's such like a basic B thing to say, but I love Trader Joe's so much. <laughs> and they're actually really affordable, actually more affordable than Walmart in a lot of cases for things that I purchase. Um, and I saw that they had this and I don't know if this was out last year, but I've never tried it, that's for sure. It's the Brazil Nut Body Butter made with acai and guarana extracts a delightful salted caramel and pistachio scent. And I thought maybe it would smell a lot like um, the Bum Bum Cream, and it does have a similar scent like the Bum Bum Cream. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll link that one down below. It's from Sol de Janeiro. I'm obsessed. I love everything in that collection, but this one smells pretty dang close. A little bit different, a little bit sweeter, just a little bit different, but I really like it. Um, and yeah, also Trader Joe's, all their skincare and stuff are cruelty free, not tested on animals. If that's important to you, I thought, well, I'm sure everyone would appreciate that. Um, I just thought I'd mention that too, that all of their skincare and stuff is awesome. And the next thing I want to try from them is their sunscreen. Um, my bestie Eliana, she had posted about it, I don't know, like a month ago and I forgot. I was right next to it too. I forgot to look for it, but she said like their sunscreen is really good. So I want to try that, but... This one's super hydrating and it just smells so good. Perfect summer scent, I feel like.